Arecibo, Puerto Rico, one of the most underrated towns and the biggest in the island. And today I'm going to show you why I think this should be on the top of your list when visiting Puerto Rico. We have history, we have food, beaches and everything in between that yeah, you are going to love and we're going to show it to you today. Let's check it out. We recommend staying for two days here in Arecibo and what a better place than here in Sunset Beach House. They have a fully equipped kitchen with everything you need when coming here and trying to do a little meal for yourself. They also have a great living area with TV, Netflix and a bunch of board games. If you are coming with the family or with friends, you're gonna have two bedrooms with full beds and everything you need, AC to fight that heat. And now to the master bedroom, a super beautiful bedroom with Netflix, a comfy bed. They also have a private bathroom with his and hers cabinets, a rainfall shower. Outdoor, you have a patio with barbecue TV and a hamaca. They also have a kayak that you can go and take to the beach. Thank you so, so, so much to the people at Sunset Beach House. We got this morning super early. We were so tired. We felt like we were hangover because of the wine and the food we got yesterday. But we came to Bermudas in Arecibo, this little spot. It's right in front of the beach. You don't want to get out of your car. You even have a freaking drive through Also, the food is super tasty and the coffee, they use local coffee and it's just amazing. Let's try it out real quick. I need like a gallon of, of this. A lot of people don't know, but Puerto Rico, it's legendary for its coffee and their mountain coffee regions because everything is farmed right here in the mountains. I suggest everybody to try it out. This is not American coffee. This is not going to be light or watered down. This is going to be strong, punchy, and you're going to have a mouthful of taste when you try this out. We're going to try jamón, queso y huevo, and pan de romero. So it has a little bit of like herbs and spices all around. You can see all of that. It smells like very fresh, very green, right off the bat. So. The taste is ridiculous, honestly. The, you can tell the bread is very fresh. And when you bite into it, you know that you get a little bit of the spices and you, you know, you smack on it with your teeth and you grind it. It just gives you that freshness in your mouth. Honestly, super good. What did you think of the Mallorca? Está buena. Está buena? So, Mallorca, for those who don't know, that bread it's sweet and you have a little bit of domino sugar on the top so if you're kind of like a sweet tooth and you want to try something different that it's not like a normal sandwich you gotta try that out that's completely Puerto Rican we have La Super Jeva with her complete Super breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> look at that so Right now, we are in La Planta in Arecibo, and this is a very special waterfall, one of my favorite in the island, and we're gonna show you why and the history behind it. Right here, we have, in 1923, a hydroelectric plant that was built right here to harness all of the energy and the strength from this very powerful river. This is part of the Tanama River system. If I am not mistaken, please, correct me if I'm wrong right here it was abandoned in the 1950s because the vein of the river divides in two and they built another better one more technological one that it's still in use today We are gonna visit the ruins and what we are gonna be seeing is gonna be man-made. It's not a natural waterfall, it's man-made, but it's still beautiful and just a majestic sight for you to visit here in Arecibo. Let's check it out. So on the way to La Planta, you're gonna pass one first waterfall, which is gonna be like Three minutes walking from where you're gonna park and look how beautiful it is. 
I don't recommend standing directly under it because the gallons of water that are flowing through that waterfall right there is ridiculous. You're gonna get crushed, it's gonna throw you against the rock, but go around it and take a little bit of a splash and La Planta is just a magic place, guys. Let me be clear though, water is freaking cold. Probably from some of you that come from the States a little bit more in the north that you're escaping the cold, probably you're gonna feel it fine. But for us Caribbeans and for people probably in, like in the lower states and in Latin America, this is gonna be freaking cold. <laughs> Do you think it's cold? There you go, and she said that it's true. This is how I'm gonna do it. Vamos a ver, yo espero que no. ¿Qué? Ay, el drone. ¿Qué? Okay, that was a very bad idea. La chola. Yo me hundí completa, mira, me hundí completita. Thank God, everything just got a little bit drizzled, but the backpack got submerged in the water. That was way deeper than I would say before Hurricane Fiona because before Hurricane Fiona you were able to walk around it and the water was just like this deep but I kept walking and I just went straight in. After that treacherous way to the waterfall after almost drowning my drone, my camera, my lenses and all the equipment and phones that we brought we made it to La Planta. Check this out guys. <laughs> This right here is the man-made waterfall. Here they used to collect the hydroelectric power in the 1920s to power a lot of the town of Arecibo. But as of today, it's just visited by locals and tourists as a great place to get connected with nature. This is El Jubilo Coffee Shop, a bicycle and cyclist themed coffee shop here in the town of Arecibo. We were crazy to come here and visit. We've been following them on social media for a long time. So if you want a little bit of a revamp, lunch or brunch, this is a place that I really recommend you the most. And soon you're gonna see what we got here. So tasty, check it out. We got an iced matcha, regular latte, and for lunch to share, because this was pretty big, we have stirred fried rice with churrasco or skirt steak. Look how juicy and tasty that looked. So guys, we just made it to the inside of Cueva del Indio. And as you can see behind me, all of this wall is completely written by the ancient Indians. The petroglyphs date for over 700 to 1,000 years old right here. And the caves has over 80 to almost 100 petroglyphs from the Indians. And here you have amazing little spots that you think that they're not gonna be any writings at all. But here you see this one this one this one this is such a historic landmark place that i cannot emphasize how much you gotta come here and you gotta get in those roots those taino feelings those vibes that people over a thousand years ago were gathering here doing ceremonies feeding the culture and just being one with nature. And right adjacent to Cueva del Indio, you're gonna have Los Siete Arcos. This is the most beautiful view of the whole North Coast. And if you're interested, I do an Airbnb experience on Cueva del Indio and the Seven Arcs. Links are gonna be down below. 
and here we are at the public plaza of Arecibo. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the history of the town right here. It was firstly settled in the 1556 by the Spanish settlers, but it was already habited by the Taino and they named the town actually because of the cacique or the boss of the Tainos, which his name was Arasabo. And after that, in the early 1600s, it was actually one of the first towns that was established here in Puerto Rico by the Spanish colonizers. Something I really recommend while you are visiting here in the town is that you should go and check out the church right there because, if I'm not mistaken, it's the second biggest after the churches in San Juan, the San Juan Bautista Chapel. Beautiful right now, we can't go in because they're actually doing mass. Honestly, I recommend coming through every town plaza in Puerto Rico that you are visiting because each one is unique. You have the same Spanish colonial kind of layout into it where you have the big plaza the main businesses around the mayor's house and everything around it something super cool is that all around this plaza you have a bunch of restaurants and dessert place that you can go and check out right now we're gonna head to la buena vida pasta and bar it's right to the side of the church there we had some pasta authentically made and fresh let me tell you it was so tasty we have La Porcina, that's the one that it has a little bit of bacon, vegetables, and look at how tasty that looks once we got it on our table. I just couldn't wait and I got a bite to it and look how freaking hot it was. It was burning and the view was super beautiful. You're gonna have to check it out. These are some of the most iconic ice creams in Puerto Rico. It's so hot that it's melting, so I had to eat it like, eat it like this. The flavors of the ice creams out here are wild. You have a bunch to ask for, but my recommendation, helado de maíz or corn ice cream. You're not gonna regret it. Put a little bit of cinnamon on top and enjoy this tasty meal. And as our last recommendation, we are going to Arrecife 681. This is a beautiful restaurant right in front of the beach. Here you have the flag of Puerto Rico, which it's true color, it's sky blue. So that's why you have that little space right there. Here the boss made us some coconut mojitos and I'm gonna show you right now the whole process of them making it. To eat, I had some freshly cut mahi mahi tacos. Guys, remember to try every cuisine in Puerto Rico because everything in the island, we make it so tasty. Omaida had some brush sliders with bacon, jelly, and cream cheese, and that was so tasty too. Aperol spritz sangria to end the night. If you enjoyed the video, crush that like button down below. Let me know in a comment what was your favorite part. I'm also gonna leave you two videos right here if you want more detailed info on some of the places here in Arecibo. I really hope that you like this video and you find it helpful. Follow for more Puerto Rico content. With that being said, Tango PR, I'm out, peace.